guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hello! It's time for a Primark haul. It's a good one. I went into Primark and I was like, this is great. It's very clean, everything's very neat. I was like, everything's in my size. Filled up my basket and obviously I'm hauling it for you guys. So get comfortable, get ready, and let's haul. So number one. I picked up this dress on a whim. I was just walking to the checkout and I was like, I know that dress. I recognize that dress. Exhibit A. I bought this dress from Mango the other day and Primark, I'm gonna assume Primark copied it, but I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. Someone has copied someone here because even the stitching is the same. The only thing that has changed is the buttons. I don't like that. I mean, like, it's good, I guess, that you can get a cheaper option, but at the same time, if that's a direct copy, who knows, Mango might have copied someone. I don't know, I love this dress from Mango. When I saw it in Primark, I was like, what? That is literally a, a pretty much identical dress. So here's a Mango version and here's a Primark version. Um, the reason I bought the Mango one is because this is a beautiful dress for kind of the end of summer, midsummer, going into autumn. I like that it's cream denim. All of my denim tends to be um, blue denim and it's just nice to have more of like a beachy denim colour and I love the buttons down it. I prefer the Mango one just because that's the one that I bought first um, but it is cool that this was an affordable or more affordable choice. Next up, another little copy. I have a dress like this from Revolve. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have seen it lots and lots of times. Um, and I thought this was actually a nice little dupe version. Now, I love Revolve. It's one of my favourite websites in the world. If I need anything special, I get it from Revolve. I do know that it's very, very expensive. I think the quality is premium. But if you're wanting a dress that's a similar style, this is a tie round dress and it just really reminded me of it. I actually really like the bottom of this one, how it's like floaty. And I just think this is really nice and lightweight as well. I also forgot to say I've popped these two outfits on with my little leopard print here which these aren't from Primark but I'll link them below underneath the video. So comfortable, I love a bit of leopard print. Next up, my boobs are gonna fall out of this. I feel like this might pop at any moment. I like little tops and I fell for the stripes. I was like, this is very cute. Popped it with one of my all time favorite denim skirts. This has been in my wardrobe for years. It's an absolute staple, um, not from Primark, but again, I can link that below. These heels that I just have not taken off this summer, but this top is cute. Sometimes I find puff sleeves a little bit too puffy. These aren't too puffy. I think these are the right level of puff on the sleeve. Um, and I actually really like the color, but I can't keep this because I can't breathe. And the boobs are gonna open out any second. Next up, the sizing on this one is very weird as well because I could get it on, but I honestly nearly broke my neck getting this on. I have always loved polka dots. If you followed me for a while, you'll know there's always leopard print or polka dots or stripes in one of my hauls. Um, I like this, but it's way too see-through. And I think in some circumstances, you do get what you pay for. And we all know that the Primark quality can either be amazing or not so good. This is definitely more of a beachy dress, um, just which is a shame because I wouldn't want it as a beachy dress. I think it'd be great for meetings, but I popped a stick on bra on and you can still see my stick on bra without it. You could see my nipples. It's just a little bit too thin, sadly, which is a shame because the material down here is fine. Um, and I just love something floaty and polka dotty. Sorry for all the polka dots, guys. Don't really know what got into me there. Primark was definitely full of kind of we're going into autumn neutrals, some trench coats. And I was like, guys, it is hot outside. And I got to the cashier and she was rolling up the clothes or folding them. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of polka dots, as if I was hauling. And she was like, she looked at me as if I was crazy. And I was like, I just bought loads of polka dots, I didn't mean to. So, this top, really cute. Love that it's off the shoulder, if I can actually dress myself correctly. Love browns, I just love like neutral colours. Um, off the shoulder, you can pop it up like this if you want, but oh, I'm in that off the shoulder move, although mood, although my tan's horrible. Pop it with this little skirt that I bought the other day. I've got hair all over me. You could tuck it in like this. You could have it out like this. Wear it with some jeans. Wear it with a denim skirt, wear it with a white skirt. I thought it was a little bit different with a white skirt. This will be just such a nice top for so many different occasions. This is very back to school, isn't it? It's the kind of thing that my granddad would be like, why are you dressed as a child? <laughs> Grandparents don't understand pinafores, little check skirts, or ripped jeans. So I was like, why are you dressing like you're in primary school? But I like it. I love the cord feel. Although again, very tight. Wow. I feel like I have the broadest shoulders in the world because I nearly broke my back getting this on. Should have sized up. What are these little 
platform platforms don't really know what the word of them is i've actually got a sweat on because it's so hot putting this on but i do like it i just popped it with a little tea a little slogan tea um i love wearing stuff like this at the end of summer or like into autumn i just think it's such a nice easy to wear thing if you notice how my hair keeps changing in between scenes it's because i keep having to brush it from either getting stuck in clothes or the lights being really hot on me so apologies for that guys couldn't resist this kind of military style gorgeous buttoned nice shirty dress i've seen a lot of these around at the moment um mango have some amazing ones i feel like mango and primark you know at the moment popped it with these shoes that i bought the other day obsessed with these shoes literally wore them the whole of summer um i love the color of this they have this in a few colors i just think it's nice it's one of those smart outfits that you could wear to lunch you could wear to brunch you could wear to a meeting you could wear to sixth form out of interest guys comment below let me know what your like situation is are you a student do you work full time are you an influencer It'd be really cool to know like what you guys do and if there's any videos you want to see from me do you want to see a workwear haul maybe a university outfits haul i don't know let me know but i think the color of this is gorgeous and i think it's so easy to wear and it doesn't feel too thin either so next up sorry guys i promise this is the last polka dot number um i really like this and i think a lot of places are doing these kind of cowly well it's not really cowl but they kind of like hang like this and they're kind of tight but kind of loose those kind of dresses and they're also always midi dresses so this trend kind of starts in zara they all sold out, as everything does with Zara, and I've seen that ASOS have a huge section of them, so I'll link those below as well. But I think this is gorgeous, but there were literally no sizes of this. I just picked whatever size I could find. That's how you know that it's really good, because everyone just runs in, and they're like, I need that dress. It's like on Mean Girls, where they're like fighting across a water fountain, because everyone needs the dress. That was me today. Um, I really like it. I think it's just super easy to wear. Popped it with my wedges, but you could pop this with gorgeous little pointed heels for a really classy look, or you could pop it with sandals for more of a daytime look if you're going abroad or something. I just feel like the thing about Primark is you would not know that this is a cheap, well, affordable Primark dress. If you pop it with, say, like some more expensive shoes or an expensive handbag, and I think that's why I don't mind talking about Primark because I know that it gets a bad rep. But actually, if you just want to feel amazing and get a new dress for a dinner or something, then you can and it's not going to completely break the bank and you can then pop it with something that's maybe been in your life for a really long time or a really expensive item and I think this dress maybe does a trick it could be quite nice with a little belt around it as well potentially but I'll also link all the similar ones below because you might just not want to go into a store <laughs> because to be honest I just prefer shopping online okay so I absolutely love a bohemian style top and I just have to say a little disclaimer I'm wearing like Calvin Klein boy shorts underneath these jeans so they were so hard to get on so if you think they look a bit weird and bulgy that is why i have like legit thick shorts on underneath these i'm struggling with the bloat today so i'm like making myself as comfortable as possible hashtag girl problems um so this top i love anything that's kind of like free people style floaty nice and britney spears-esque i always say that um i just love anything lacy to be honest i think this is so dreamy pop me with some blue jeans these are one of my holy grail pairs of jeans which i'll link below um i really just love white and blue together i think it looks great pop it with a nice little brown belt and then i am so excited about this so a lot of this is actually from the autumn winter primark range so you're in a first set of luck I felt like it was very autumnal when I walked in there because this oh says on the back of it autumn winter 19. So they obviously start piling up their autumn stuff pretty soon. These are like, I think, don't quote me again, the copy of the Prada headbands. And oh, it was two pounds. And I love the colour. They didn't do this one in other colours because I would have loved this one in black. But how cute. Again, another thing my granddad would be like, you look like a child. I also got this. Again, this is very autumn winter. But you know, I do get a bit excited about autumn fashion. How nice is this? And the quality feels so good. Nice and thick wool. And it's the gold buttons that I love. They're just so big. I'm not really into silver as much as gold. I think these look gorgeous. There we have it. I'm ready to go back to school. I appreciate anything Clueless style vibes, as you can tell by the headband and the skirt. Even though I've never seen Clueless, I say this all the time and I really need to watch it. Have you guys watched Clueless or is it just me? But as I said, Primark was very autumn winter heavy. Gets me so excited. I am such a basic blogger, bitch, because I'm so excited about autumn. This is like Burberry-esque. I love it. I love little mini skirts. Wear it with knee-high boots. Heels for now. Wear it with trainers. This has made me want to do a back to school haul slash a university haul but I did one last year and no one really watched it 
So let's see, maybe we should do that this year. We'll see, let me know in the comments guys. But this is cute and wait, it's got a stretchy back. Perfect for days like this when I'm so bloated. My friend's pregnant and I was like, oh my God, I honestly, when I blow, I look like you. I'm, I'm not even pregnant. I look more pregnant than her when I blow. This is just how the human body works. It's magical, but yeah, this is great. Primark, thank you for listening to women all over the world. It's a wrap guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below, let me know what your favorite item was. Do you love autumn as well? Or do you want summer fashion in full swing? Let me know, let me know what you want to see from me. If you're new, it would be amazing if you could click the subscribe button. It really helps me. I do vlogs every Friday. And then on a Sunday, I do like sit down videos like this or travel or whatever. Just let me know what you guys want to see from me. Come say hi on Instagram and Twitter at MichelleX as well. It would be amazing to have you guys over there. And if you do head over there now, just let me know that YouTube sent you. I love Love seeing you guys watch my videos. Thank you so much guys for spending your Sunday or Monday, whatever day it is, watching my video. Big love, see you next week.